Who doesn't love a good street performer? Sure, they're kind of loud and annoying and the crowds that gather around them get in everybody's way, but the things they do are remarkable and entertaining in a multitude of ways. Nothing is more impressive than taking to the streets with little more than your natural talent and utterly captivating entire hordes of people. These are 20 street performers that will amaze you. Number 20. Man Cut in Half on Bike Now, some street performers really are very good at what they do. They're creative and original, and not at all the massive show-offs that they might seem to be. This is Xavier Mortimer, and he is definitely a massive show-off but he's also pretty good at what he does. Like in this video, Mortimer and his friends appear to slice him in half, all before he compels the two assistants to place him on a bicycle so that he can cycle around the park, seemingly with his legs separated from the rest of his body. This is all very silly and entertaining and seems to have a lot of onlookers scratching their heads about what they're actually seeing. Xavier Mortimer is pretty well known. He's appeared on a whole bunch of TV shows with his magical exploits, and you may recognize him from Penn and Teller Fool Us or America's Got Talent or Masters of Illusion, as well as a whole other plethora of shows elsewhere in the world. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. In today's sweet topic, we catch a small glimpse of the action happening right in front of our eyes. Adorned in metallic blue paint and an outfit that's reminiscent of the genie from Disney's Aladdin, this incredible performer successfully faked that they were a statue for hours. But then, once the crowds had gathered, the truth would be revealed. Musing suddenly began to blare, and the sensational performer proceeded to do anything and everything that the crowd could have wanted, from beautiful ancient dancing to magic tricks that could fool even Penn and Teller. And just as the crowd were beginning to get restless, they even proved they could sing opera and somehow magically reduce the very golden plinth they'd been perched on into ribbons and colored dust at the click of their fingers. They performed for hours, and as the night rolled on, they began to breathe fire. But what's the best street performance that you've ever seen? And where was it? As always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Climbing Stairs Balancing Person Next up, we're dropping in with our old friends, those clipboard-clutching individuals at the Guinness Book of World Records. This is a pair of street-performing brothers who have not only wowed crowds with the exploits, but they've also broken records while doing so. Weird records, that much is true, but they have definitely done it. Back in December of 2021, these brothers from Vietnam achieved an incredible feat by setting a new world record for the most consecutive stairs climbed while balancing a person on their head. Now, they climbed an astonishing 100 stairs while supporting each other during the weird challenge. The world record would be accomplished in Spain. The brothers are seasoned circus performers, and head-to-head -head balancing was already part of their regular show. However, they had sought to push their abilities even further by attempting an even more challenging stunt. Way back in 2016, they had broken the record by climbing 90 stairs, but their record would later be surpassed by Pablo Nonata and Yoel Yakata who had managed 97 stairs just two years later. Determined to regain the title, the brothers then returned to the same location, the Cathedral of Garona in Spain, and with determination and skill, they managed to ascend an impressive 100 stairs in a time of just 53.6 seconds, reclaiming their world record, and I'm sure that you're as thrilled about it as I am. Number 18. Giant Puppets Back along for a number of years, these giant puppets were taken to the streets of Liverpool in the United Kingdom, where they amazed crowds of people with their impressive detail and remarkable size. Their last appearance in Liverpool would be part of the city's celebrations during its year of the European Capital of Culture back in 2018. 
The puppets, or marionettes, were the creation of a French theater company known as Royale de Luxe, which was founded by Jean-Luc Cocult back at the end of the 1970s. These huge marionettes have been taken to various cities in countries all over the world, which includes, of course, France, Belgium, Germany, Chile, Mexico, Canada, and many other parts of the UK and countries in Europe. This giant marionette ensemble is certainly impressive, but I have a feeling that if I watch too much longer, I'm definitely going to be having some new and especially fruity nightmares. How about you? Are these puppets terrifying, or am I just being a big wuss about it? Number 17. Taiwan's Ringman up next, we have Isaac Howe, one of Taipei's most well-known street artists, who is known for captivating audiences with his acrobatics using a giant spinning hoop. Perhaps he's using it to hypnotize people. This Taiwanese-American guy is a true master of the metal seer wheel, deftly whirling himself around while gracefully stretched inside the ring. He's a true spectacle to watch on stage and television, but you can also catch him delighting passers-by as he busks in various places around Taiwan's capital, especially in the bustling shopping district of a place I am not about to attempt to pronounce. Isaac's passion for street performing runs deep. He finds it liberating, embracing the freedom and adventure that it offers. No annoying boss, just the joy of traveling and demonstrating his talents. Although the general public are not always famously wonderful, but never mind. Having learned Kung Fu at the famous Shaolin Temple in China and honing his acrobatic skills at circus schools in Denmark and Russia, Isaac's artistry is the culmination of an extraordinary journey. Besides his wheel prowess, Isaac also balances his body with a Brazilian dance-like martial art, as well as ballet, jazz, and tango. But it's not just about the physical skills. Street performing provides Isaac with an opportunity to connect with people and also share his artistry in an up-close and personal way, which of course he really enjoys. Now, of course, like any path, being a street artist does come with its challenges. Maintaining a regular schedule can be tough, and distractions do abound. However, Isaac knows the secret to overcoming obstacles. Just keep on going. It's good advice for most things in life, I suppose. Number 16. Street Performer Plays Crystal Balls now, I'm not exactly 100% sure that I want to watch some guy in the street playing with his balls, but here we are anyways. This is a French guy who goes by the name of Jayoti Supernatural, that may or may not be his given name, who could possibly say? He's known for fiddling with his balls in the street, and for some reason, people really seem to enjoy watching him do that. These are some kind of mystical crystal balls, apparently. Part of his shtick seems to be that this is an ancient craft from the depths of South America, but it looks rather like a lot of stick twiddling and ball balancing to me. Then again, I'm an old cynic and not really one for a lot of massive attention seeking by some allegedly mystical bald man who seems to be adept at balancing stuff. Perhaps he just has a big dent on the top of his head? Number 15. Fusion Fighters Dance Crew Next level. This is the Fusion Fighters Dance Crew, performing in Dublin's Temple area. They are a group of young dancers who have taken traditional Irish dance pretty good at what they do. In the video that was recorded by the founder and artistic director of a Dublin-based dance company, performers demonstrate their dance skills on wooden board dancing shoes. This innovative approach allows them to elevate their performances, blending tradition with modern times to captivate a contemporary performances. They add a fresh new twist to their routines, offering a unique and enthralling experience for spectators. With an unwavering commitment to preserving their cultural heritage, the dancers infuse their performances with the spirit of Irish dance, keeping their traditions alive while also embracing the potential for modern expression. The result becomes a dynamic and captivating display that bridges is the gap between tradition and innovation, leaving audiences enthralled by the fusion of both old and new. Number 14. Floating Case by Vic This is a street performer known as Vic White. 
his real name is something foreign that I can't pronounce, and Vic is a professional dancer who has become internet famous since his appearances on competition shows. Now, his various social media channels, especially the old TikTok, have gathered him millions of fans around the world. He's massively popular and is a street performer who really doesn't have to do a whole lot of busking in the street anymore. He's best known for his dance, his television appearances, his brand endorsements, and of course, his web series. All of those lovely internet-y clicks have taken this showman completely global, so now he can perform anywhere in the world and have millions of people to watch him. But what do you think of his performance? Is it somewhere between a dance and an old-fashioned kind of miming act? He's really good at what he does nonetheless, if you happen to like that sort of showing off, that is. Number 13. Fabio Widmer This guy may be a massive attention seeker, but he does have something to show off about. He's really good at riding his bike. Fabio, a talented Austrian cyclist and YouTuber, is a force to be reckoned with in the world of street trials and downhill mountain biking. Renowned for his street trials videos, he's earned a sponsorship from energy drink company Red Bull. His skills and passion have led him to victory in the National Downhill Mountain Biking Championships in 2016. But just riding downhill is not enough for the guy. He likes to leap over cars and people and slide up and down streets in all manner of fancy bicycling styles. Not only a rider, he also runs his own clothing brand called Six Series, offering a range of cycling gear and accessories. He's part of the Drop and Roll team that was founded by Danny McCaskill, where he performs live shows showing off his street trials expertise alongside fellow riders Duncan Shaw, Ali Clarkson, and John Langlois. With a massive following on YouTube, his channel has amassed over 7.5 million subscribers and a staggering 1.4 billion views as of July of 2023. His most popular video, Webmer's Law and Urban Freeride Lives have reached an impressive 252 million and 250 million views respectively. Now, his remarkable talents and captivating videos continue to inspire and entertain audiences worldwide, solidifying his place as a prominent figure in the thrilling world of extreme cycling. However, this is not just for everyone, so don't try it at home. Number 12. Robot Dance Street Performer the robot, known as mannequin or dancing machine, is a street dance style that emulates the stilted movements of a robot or a mannequin. Although it gained fame in the 1970s, when Michael Jackson first used it in his performance, its roots go even further back to the 1920s when it was used theatrically in miming. In the robot dance, dancers will mimic robotic motions, giving the illusion of being an actual machine. They begin and finish their movements with a dime stop, a sharp and abrupt stop that resembles motors starting and stopping. Some dancers will even add pops to the beat while maintaining the robot illusion, making it a subsection of popping. The robot dance is not limited to only street performance. It can also be seen in dance battles, parties, clubs, and my living room. While some dancers incorporate it into their routines, others perform it as a standalone act, like myself, imitating robots without any music. This version is akin to mime and showcases the dancer's ability to portray mechanical movements with precise execution. In its early days, dancers like Charles Robot Washington and Robot Ann would bring the robot dance to social dance floors, grooving to funk and soul music. Over time, it would merge with other illusion styles to evolve into the popping style that we know today. But what do you think of these guys and their interpretation of the robot? Go ahead and have an opinionated row about it all over the comments section. I know you want to. Number 11. The Bucket Boy Drumming Now, if you're a fan of street musicians, then you might like this next one. Matthew Pretty, famously known as the Bucket Boy, is seen in this video performing in Las Vegas. This international street performer has mastered the art of taking a few buckets and pots to make it sound like a top-notch drum set, showing off his exceptional drumming skills. Matthew Pretty was born in 1991 in Tom's River, discovering his musical passion at a young age by experimenting with unique sounds that he could produce using everyday buckets. Taking to the streets, he would impress passers-by with his innovative performances, and it is pretty clever stuff when you see what he's using to make the music. Not confined to one place, he travels all across the world. The Bucket Boy has undoubtedly earned his reputation as one of the world's most renowned bucket drummers. Well, I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Can you? Number 10. Anja Drummers 
This group of street performers is unique, partly because of how extraordinary their performance is, but mainly on the account of just how many of them there are. This is the rather unusually titled Anja, which is actually a word from an indigenous language that means approximately to do or to create. The group themselves first came about back in 2013 and has been growing ever since. They hail from Colombia and have more than 150 members. Based in Bogota, the band comes out onto the city streets from time to time, creating an instant festival with their music and, well, just their presence to be honest. This many drums in one place is quite the spectacle for the eyes and the ears. They dress in all black with red and black accessories. They look incredible, eh, like a group of warriors, you might say. They play their music in what they classify as a samba reggae, and they play drums of all shapes and sizes. It really does make quite an extraordinary sound. But what do you think? Number 9. Live Sculpture Back in 2017, people in New York City were all busy walking by the famous Washington Square Arch, never realizing that one of the figures that adorns the marble structure was actually a real-life genuine breathing human being who was just pretending to be a statue, as we all do at points in our lives. This is Johan Gonzalez, a street performer who is so very good at what he does that he's even been called the city's most realistic living statue, as if there were tons of other ones. Now, that may not be difficult if you were to put him beside all the fairly useless painted people who stand on crates and try not to wobble all the live long day. You know, the usual sort of stuff. But this guy has really taken his art form to the next level. Johan is a diminutive 4 feet 11 inches tall, which certainly adds to his performance, and he really looks as if he's actually been carved from stone, which means that when he performs, people are truly amazed by what they see. It's easy to see how he can be mistaken for a statue, and many people simply can't believe that he's real. But what do you think about the guy? Does his performance amaze you? Creep you out? Or are you just a tough crowd? Go ahead and have a few thoughts about this street performer, along with his unique style in the comments down below. Because I simply cannot wait to hear what you think. Number 8. Violinist The violin is a much maligned instrument, especially when in the hands of a child. Usually their age means that they're a beginner and the violin can be, well, a rather tricky thing to master. Not so for this 11-year-old musical wonder, though. This is Carolina Protsenko, a veritable child prodigy. She and her family had moved to the United States from Ukraine when she was just six years old, and she's clearly spent a whole lot of time practicing her art rather than doing all the boring video games and other junk that children her age seem to be constantly doing. She is quite remarkable. The video captures her performance of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, a song made famous by Judy Garland in the classic movie The Wizard of Oz. Carolina is something of an internet sensation. Her street performances have been shared all over the YouTubes and elsewhere, and she has an army of fans around the world. It's easy to see why so many people have stopped to watch her rendition. Even the dog seems to be interested in the little girl's talents. Number 7. Snake Charmer in the realm of exotic performances, snake charmers hold a mystique that has fascinated audiences for centuries. These enchanting entertainers will often be found bustling in the markets of Asia and North Africa, captivating onlookers with their hypnotic abilities to tame and interact with snakes. The art of snake charming can be traced back to ancient civilizations, where serpents were revered as symbols of power, wisdom, and transformation. But today, snake charmers use their captivating skills to entertain and enthrall the curious spectator. Ducked out in colorful attire, Snake charmers typically carry a woven basket or pot, which houses their slithery companions. Unfortunately, this particular snake charmer did not manage to sort an especially tricky knot in his snake box before he began his show. It did detract somewhat from the spectacle, but you should bear with him. The music begins, the charmer sways to its rhythm, while the snake seemingly dances in response. Contrary to popular belief, the snake is not actually charmed by the music's tune, but instead follows the movements of the charmer, which it perceives as potential threats from predators. The dance between the charmer and the snake does not come without risks, as handling a venomous snake demands expertise and caution. 
Many snake charmers come from generations of performers and possess a deep knowledge of their reptilian partners. Despite the allure, modern times have seen a decline in snake charming due to ethical concerns and wildlife protection laws. Many regions have taken steps to safeguard both the performer and the snake, encouraging alternative forms of entertainment that do not exploit these amazing creatures. Number 6. Ballet Dancer and Violinist in this next charming video that was captured on the streets of Italy, a violinist captivates passers-by with a soul-stirring melody from the movie Amelie. Among the mesmerized crowd, a young woman catches the music's magic and steps forward, encouraged by her family to embrace the moment. But little did onlookers know, this young woman is none other than Palestinian dancer and choreographer Rima Baranzi. While on a family trip to Italy, they had stumbled upon the talented violinist, Ivo Remenek, playing on the side of the street. Inspired Inspired by the music and their father's enthusiastic encouragement, Rima decides to dance along. Stepping out of her shoes, she gracefully moves to the rhythm of the violin, seemingly carried away by the music's spell. The crowd cannot help but gather around to witness this impromptu performance, as Rima's movements fluidly echo the violin's tender notes. Her father managed to capture the heartwarming moment on video, and then shared it to the old tubes of you. To their surprise, the video resonated deeply with people across the globe garnering over 9 million views and touching the hearts of many. As these sorts of things are wont to do, you know, we're a sensational bunch, we really are. And even if we do seem deeply cynical most of the time, especially in the comments section of, well, every single YouTube video we ever watch. Number 5. Shaolin Monk Show Enter the world of the Shaolin Monk where ancient traditions, martial arts, and Zen philosophy converge to create a captivating tapestry of skill and spirituality. Hailing from the Shaolin Temple in China's Henan Province, these remarkable monks are renowned for their mastery of Kung Fu and their disciplined way of life. Their training begins at an early age, where they embark on a rigorous journey which includes physical conditioning, flexibility exercises, and learning various martial arts techniques that seem to defy the laws of physics. <laughs> now, it's not only about the kicks and the punches. Shaolin monks are so devoted to their spiritual practice that meditation and Zen teachings become central to their daily routine, providing them with mental clarity, peace, and an unshakable focus. The breathtaking performances put on by Shaolin monks are nothing short of astonishing. Their displays of strength, balance, and precision leave audiences in awe, making it seem as if they possess superhuman abilities. While the Shaolin monks have become popular cultural ambassadors, it is important to remember that their traditions are deeply rooted in history and spirituality. Their dedication to the craft, along with their quest for enlightenment, make them not only incredible athletes, but also inspiring spiritual seekers. Even if this street performance makes it seem like they're being massive show-offs, they're actually just being Shaolin monks. This is apparently what they do. Number 4. Dabki Performance Dabki, a lively and energetic traditional dance, has been captivating hearts in the Levant region for centuries. With its rhythmic stomping, synchronized footwork, and joyful spirit, it's not only about dance, but also a celebration of culture, community, and heritage. Originating in the countries of Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Palestine, Dabki is deeply ingrained in the social fabric of these nations. The dance is usually performed at weddings, festivals, and other joyous occasions, bringing people of all ages together to express their unity and shared history. The dance is characterized by a line or circle of dancers holding hands hands or linking arms, creating a sense of togetherness and camaraderie. The lead dancer, often called the Ras or Dabki, sets the pace and movements for the rest of the group to follow. The rhythm is driven by the powerful beats of traditional instruments like the tabla and others, and the hand drum, creating an infectious groove that makes it impossible not to join in. Dabki is not only about coordinated steps, but it's a way to tell a story and express emotion through movement. Some performances will include dancers that incorporate traditional props like a cane or a sword, adding an exciting element to the spectacle. And over time, it's transcended borders and has become popular worldwide, captivating audiences with its dynamic and inclusive nature. Learning Dabki has become a cherished activity for many as it offers an opportunity to connect with the rich cultural heritage of the Levant. Number 3. Pepe the Clown 
Chorophobia, the irrational fear of clowns, is a legitimate phobia, but the cultural appropriation of this fear in media and such has turned it into an epidemic. Where clowns used to be most likely a source of fun and entertainment for the majority of people, there are more and more creepy associations with them these days, and that is seemingly making everyone a bit scared of them. In Poland, there's a beloved clown named Pepe, whose striped shirt, green hat, and red nose have made him a bit of a local sensation. With a bag of simple props like a big hair comb, some spray, and a whistle, he roams the streets, brightening the mood for both beer-sipping locals and tourists who are passing through. In this video, Pepe comes across a lone man and, true to his nature, refuses to let him pass without some laughter. Playfully, he takes the man's hand and they walk together like gleeful children who have just found a treasure on the road. The man cannot help but appreciate the humor and gladly joins in on the fun. Yet, Pepe also knows the importance of safety. In another scene, he halts a cyclist using his whistle to demand a stop. The cyclist looks puzzled until Pepe reveals an orange balloon, shaping it into a helmet for the man's head. Once that helmet is on, the cyclist is free to ride once again, leaving everyone amused and applauding the interaction. His hilarious and heartwarming antics have brought happiness to the local community, making him a social media sensation, which as we all know is the only real measure of success in our tedious modern world. Number 2. Kyoto Tachibana SHS Band the well-drilled Kyoto Tachibana Senior High School Band are pretty good as far as school marching bands go, I suppose. But they are exactly that, a high school marching band. They clearly practice a whole lot and take a lot of pride in their coordinated movements as well as their musical ability, and those orange outfits do make them stand out. Is this some kind of Japanese thing that I don't understand, or am I being an old curmudgeon? I mean, these things exist all over the place. Are you blown away? Are you totally amazed? I mean, let's get stuck into a discussion of high school marching bands in the comments down below. It'll be the most thrilling thing we do all day. Number 1. Dancing Child on Dublin's busy Grafton Street, a little girl stole the spotlight with her extraordinary dancing skills, leaving both the crowd and the regular busking band, Stray Melody, completely charmed. The band is no stranger to performing there, but this little girl's performance was unlike anything they had seen before. As Stray Melody played a mashup of Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe and the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey's Closer, the young girl began to dance with sheer joy and abandon. Her moves were pretty good, to be honest suggesting that she might have some kind of formal training or may simply be a gifted amateur. In perfect harmony with the music, she performed intricate steps and pulled off an impressive series of spins, giving the crowd something extra to enjoy on a regular boring old afternoon. The video of her enchanting performance was shared to YouTube and Instagram by Stray Melody and quickly garnered widespread admiration. The band could not help but admit that she had stolen the show that day, making the bustling Grafton Street come alive and to a standstill with her epic moves. That was all very cute indeed, and you have to admire her confidence at the same time. That's all we have from street performers for today. Which of these unusual talents impressed you the most? And have you ever seen a really amazing street performance? Go ahead and tell me all about it in the comments down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.